Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of the Disc Golf Answerman. Next one is from Boo. Uh, before we play this one from Boo... We're about to find out if it's funky or not. Well, last time we had to re-edit the, uh, for YouTube because oh, yeah. YouTube gave us a hit saying uh, copyright infringement, which it didn't give us a bad hit because if you can get... used to be you get a strike, and if you got too many strikes, then they would like not let you upload videos. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Dang. But I think I they've think it relaxed on it a little bit because... Um, now I think they figured out that people actually buy music based on what they hear. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like free advertisement. So anyway, so I think what they've done is they've worked out deals where if uh, a publishing company doesn't like that the, a song is in there, they'll restrict it in certain countries or they'll try to make play ads off of it and they make money off sure. of it. So, so I'm not sure what's going to happen here, Boo. I don't know if your question... It may get, just be it, muted. It may, your question may not get on the air. So for the YouTube people, that is at uh, least... Yeah. Let's see. What's up, gentlemen? So since last time I got you in a little bit of trouble with YouTube, I figured you'd some of my own funk music for the intro this time, just so there is no uh, copyright concerns. Uh, so Did he just say his own funk? He, yeah, yeah he's I think in so. a band. He plays the bass, dude. I believe. Bass or regular guitar? Say boo. One of the two. What's up, boo? I'm impressed. <laughs> okay. Make, it, make us a bassy intro, boo. That's Seinfeld. Darn it. Like, okay. Like, continue. That's, right. that's going to be the copy. <laughs> yeah, really. That's going to be the strike. Sorry about that. Quick question for Eric. So I know you throw a lot of shots uh, with a Heiser release. I, too, find it just way more consistent. I feel like I can put more energy. And it's just smoother and more comfortable for my body to throw on that little Heiser release and uh, have the disc pop up straight, stay on hyzer, and occasionally turn to the right. Um, so I'm wondering, when you need to throw a big turnover, will you pick a flippier disc and still throw it with that gentle hyzer that you like to put on it and just use the natural turn to turn it over to the right? Or would you throw something more neutral and put an actual true Anheuser release on the disc when you need to? Um, I just seem to have a lot of trouble consistently releasing on Anheuser since I'm so comfortable with that kind of hyzer flip uh, finesse line that I like to throw. So uh, yeah, just looking for a little advice on how to better keep discs turned over and uh, staying moving to the right when I want them to. Uh, thanks for everything that you guys do. I'll check you later. Cheers. That was, that was funky. Funky. So who would like to stand in for Eric McCabe? As, as much of, well, I'll sit in for Eric McCabe. <laughs> I'll let you take it. I don't know if I definitely do not throw everything hyzer, so okay. I feel like I'm probably not the best person to answer. I actually have a slight hyzer, like natural hyzer release, um, and so, and I've played with Eric a lot, so I think that this is what he would say. And if it's uh, if it's not, I'm sure he'll tell me. Um, you will hear about. Yeah, this. that's right. No, probably just, listen to this on the drive home. That's right, and then just yell or at the yell at the phone. Yeah. Just no, angrily drive. you are stupid. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Um, so most of the time when Eric is throwing turnovers, uh, he, if it's, if it's just a gentle turnover that just barely pushes right, he'll usually still throw a, a hyzer release, a gentle hyzer release to get to that. If it's a big turnover, a lot of times he will change an angle to a pure anhyzer release just so that the disc is on the angle he wants all the way. It takes some of the guesswork out of it. Mm -hmm. If you're having to throw that big anhyzer release shot, uh, now, Boo, this is a this is a recommendation for you because it's something that, that I struggle with as well. When I'm throwing big Anheuser's, a lot of times, um, hopefully you can watch YouTube on this. But if I'm holding the disc where the where the angle is at an Anheuser angle, a lot of times for me, um, if I don't quite commit to following through all the way on the Anheuser angle, what feels like an Anheuser angle is actually a nose up angle. That means that it'll move to the right just a little bit, but then still finish to the left. So if you are working on throwing those big Anheuser shots and you're not just a natural Anheuser release thrower, the advice that I'd give to you is follow through really hard on that Anheuser angle. Make sure that it's all the way over so that it doesn't come out nose up. That's mm -hmm. something that I've discovered that I work on all the time and think about a lot when I'm throwing Anheusers. Yeah. I struggle with that a ton, especially on sidearms. Yeah, my sidearm. Sure. If I try and throw a big turnover with a sidearm, half up. the time, yeah. yeah, it's just coming straight back to me. Yeah. Wait, like, 
maximum time of off just yeah <laughs> yep <laughs> yep ah, out, still on the box throw it full power and then walk 20 feet yeah <laughs> i tried my best though mm-hmm. 